Okay, greetings. Uh, yeah, just something interesting I want to actually show you. Okay, what we have over here now is we obviously have a function. Okay, this is, yeah, you can call it a graph. You can call it a function. I mean, same thing, okay? Right, so over here you have your y-axis. Over here you have your x-axis, okay? And over there you have your function. Your function is basically called f of x. Simply meaning we need to give this thing a name and its name is what? F of X. However, F of X, it's basically also a mathematical description. Simply meaning, if I am at A, okay, and I plug in A as X in here, I will get out a Y output. And that Y output, it is described by F of X. Simply meaning Y equals F of X. I mean, it's really that simple, right? Let's not make it too complicated. Now, what's happening here is I want to be able to determine the area between A and B. Okay, so I want to determine the area. I mean, it's really that simple. So if you want to determine the area, you use uh, integration. Okay, and then as you can see, we're using a definite integral, simply meaning there is constraints. Uh, the constraints is what B as well as A, in this case beta and alpha. So the constraints is I want the area but between these two points, x, x, uh, x points, okay, right. Simply meaning beta, it's a x value, alpha, it's a x value, and then f of x, it's basically the function that describes this graph, okay, dx, right. So this is if we want to determine the area. End of story. That part is obvious. Now, let's go a step further. Okay. Look at what I'm doing here now. What I am doing here now ne, is I am now going to draw a little rectangle within that area. A little rectangle. Okay. Why? Because I want us to determine the area of that rectangle. Okay. So there's the rectangle also between uh, alpha and beta and the height of that rectangle it's h and then this length over here it's actually beta minus alpha so beta minus alpha it's this length multiplied by that height and then that will give us the area of this little rectangle okay but there's actually something much deeper here that is at play that i want to show you i'm not sure if you'll catch it but i'll show it to you okay let's say i want to determine h this height Simply meaning there's a, there's an area there yeah, under this curve, okay, and I want to determine the height of that area, okay, between alpha and beta. What would be the formula? The formula would be A divided by whatever this length is. Simply meaning I should know A. What is A? A is the area. The area, which area? This area over here. Okay, right. Now, let's go deeper now. Eh? This is what's powerful. This is you know, this is mind-blowing. But anyways, you, you, you're probably not going to catch it, but let's hope you do. So over here, we have H. We have H now, eh? and H is equal to 1 divided by beta minus alpha. Now, wh where's all of this coming from? This is coming from the fact that area is what? It's height, meaning, yes, multiplied by this length, which is represented by beta minus alpha. And now we want to make H subject of the formula. This is how we do it, right? We divide on this side, beta minus alpha, and we divide on that side, beta minus alpha, and then when we divide on that side, this is what we end up with, 1 divided by beta minus alpha, okay, and that you multiply by your area, okay, and that should give you the height, the height of this area, okay, right, now, what do we also know about area, this is what we also know about area, I'm referring to area in general, okay, right, area can be defined as what? Over here, we've defined area as the definite integral between beta and alpha, f of x, dx, okay? And then we will notice that exact area, it's over here again. However, this is if we want to define area. Now, we multiply area, or we divide that area by 1 divided by beta minus alpha, and then we get h. I mean, this is basically this over here, and then we just managed to define 
our area which is uh, this over here so here we have area defined okay but here's the catch let's define h mathematically this is how h is defined but what exactly are we determining simply meaning after we've determined h what exactly did we determine that is what this video is about the thing that we physically determined is what is known as your average value simply meaning this formula here it is the what the average value that's actually what h is so don't just look at h as the height h should be looked at as the average the average of what let's assume this is a given height this is a given height these are given heights given heights given heights given heights yeah if you want to determine the average value of these given heights you will then find that the average is equal to h so h will be your average height so this is actually the mathematical definition or the mathematical rigor obviously it's not that robust but this mathematically speaking should give you a deeper or a better understanding or an appreciation for how we mathematically define at least loosely the formula for determining obviously you can't really call this a derivation but it is a derivation of sorts at least in a very diluted form okay as to say what exactly constitute as an average hopefully this should aid you in that so yeah